Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a volume light. Let's get started. We set up this very simple scene by creating a plane with the teapot on it, the very famous teapot. Go to lights and create a standard light, a target spot. We're going to let that target spot shine on our teapot. Very good. I'm going to enlarge this view by pressing Alt W. Next thing I'm going to do is get, I'm going to select the light, which I in this case already have, and go to the modifier tab. First thing we want to do is go to the general parameters and click on shadows on. That's the first thing we want to do. Let's have a look at how that looks. I zoom in here. You can see that there's a shadow created from this teapot. And for a volume light to be created, we go to Atmosphere and Effects. See this white space here? We need to add an effect here. Click on Volume Light and on OK. You see that the volume light is, has been added here. We're going to need to edit this volume light though. Click on Setup. And these options here, common parameters, they are not important at our moment. Um, now, a very important button here is the Ronda Preview. And when we do that, you can see that this white uh, beam of light is being created. It's very, very strong. We don't want that. Now, we can reduce that by changing the density. That's the thickness of the light. We're going to change that to 2. We will also want to change the fog color a little bit. Just for this tutorial, of course, you can use your own color, which, whatever you prefer. You can also switch to a different light. You can pick a light and then the light, um, well, you get a box with a list with a bunch of lights. Um, you can apply a noise modifier. Um, the noise, when you click on run the preview here, you can see that we've changed a bit of this light we had before. Now, I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to press run the button one more time and you can see the effect it has on the teapot. I'm going to zoom in a little so we can see it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You can see here these beautiful ray castings there coming off from the teapot. Um, one last thing I'm going to show you here is what you can do with attenuation. It's a very important uh, thing with lighting beams. As you can see the lighting starts from up here right in this corner and it goes all the way down over here. Now let's say we want to begin the light at this angle here and we want to stop the light at well this line. Now you have to imagine a line here. We're going to use the attenuation buttons here. First uh, one is the near attenuation that's the closest one to the light. We're going to select use and show Use is so that it's get it's getting rounded and show so that you can see it in the viewport. Um, we want to set up the starting point. As you can see, we have this, um, well, what should I call it? Circle inside the light beam, which uh, gives you the uh, starting point of the light. Um, the end point is where well, you could say you could see it as a fade in from your light. Here starts the light. Uh, at its minimum um, density and here it's at its max density and that goes all the way down to the end but we also want the far attenuation to be enabled also here we have this ending and we have the uh, start we want the, the start like just behind this teapot and we want like, the ending a little bit behind it when we click on Ronda now we have a different scene well, uh, it doesn't start all the way over here. It starts just like a little bit here with a fade out, with a fade in, and here you can see a little fade out. When you don't do that, when you would like copy this and you would make the end the same value, you render it, you get this very um, right uh, ending of the line where you, uh, that doesn't look too good unless you want it to have it. Okay. Well, this is the end of the video tutorial of how to create a volume light with attenuation or without attenuation, if you like. 
Um, please visit visualnights.com for more tutorials and other requests, and I hope to see you again. Bye!